The Helix Pediatric and Neonate Portable Ventilator is designed for use in areas where there are limited or no compressed medical gases and where electrical supplies are unreliable, intermittent or non-existent. The ventilator is a gas-driven, electronically controlled ventilator. It can be used in operating theatres in conjunction with a suitable anaesthetic apparatus or for longer term ventilation in ICU. It is a time cycled, volume limited pressure ventilator with vertically mounted bellows inside a polycarbonate case and driven by a pneumatic piston. If the helix is to be used as a standalone ventilator, then the circuit block needs to be fitted first. The gas flow in the circuit works by entraining room air through the one-way valve at the back of the reservoir block. This is either controlled by the patient's own inspiratory effort when spontaneously breathing, by compression of the self-inflating bag in the circuit during manually assisted ventilation or through turning on the ventilator. The circuit provided is autoclavable silicon tubing with a patient valve at the distal end and a self-inflating bag in the middle to allow manual or assisted ventilation. Expired gases leave the system through the 30 mm port on the patient valve and PEEP or scavenging can be applied at this point. There is an on-off control with a power on light and a patient pressure control with the pressure gauge mounted in the top of the helix screw. There is a breaths per minute control that will provide a rate from 4 to 40 breaths per minute by simply turning it to the desired setting and a triggered breathing control to assist weaning or to provide pressure support. There is an alarm for high pressure and low pressure or disconnect alarm with a mute for the audible low pressure alarm. When the ventilator is switched on, initially all three lights show and the low pressure alarm remains on until there is pressure in the circuit. The tidal volume is controlled by turning the helix screw on top of the bellows and reading the setting here. And it can be used either as a volume generator or in a pressure limited mode depending on the setting of those two parameters. If the helix is used with the DPAO2 anaesthetic machine, then the circuit block is removed and the ventilator outlet is simply connected to the DPA inspiratory valve in place of the self-inflating bag. To set the initial patient pressure, run the ventilator while occluding the patient valve outlet. Adjust the pressure control until the desired pressure on the gauge is shown. The internal battery will run for 100 hours without recharge. To recharge the battery, connect the mains charger here. It will accept any voltage from 100 to 240 volts and there is also a 12 volt charger supplied. This battery should be kept fully charged by keeping the ventilator connected to the main supply when available. The ventilator can be driven by any gas supply from 1.5 bar 20 psi to 5 bar 75 psi. If a suitable oxygen concentrator is used, the drive gas tube can simply be connected directly from the concentrator outlet to the drive gas inlet on the ventilator. If the gas source is from an oxygen cylinder, the drive gas tube is connected to the cylinder 4 bar regulator.
If oxygen is the drive gas, it can be recycled into the patient's circuit to increase the FiO2 through this tube from the drive gas outlet to the circuit block. If no oxygen source is available, then if supplied, the compressor pump using air can be used to drive the ventilator. The compressor pump contains a pump, small reservoir, lithium rechargeable battery and water trap. The inlet filter is first screwed into place and the drive gas tube connected between the pump and the ventilator. The pump is then switched on. The battery should run for 20 hours when fully charged. The level of charge is shown here. If you require any further information about the Helix Portable Ventilator, please contact us.